In this video I'm going to show you why you should never use process model 14 for moderated mediation. And there are some additional process model numbers you shouldn't use as well. If you want to analyze a moderated mediation hypothesis, in many cases you will be using the process macro from Andrew Hayes. I like this macro a lot, but unfortunately some process model templates are highly problematic. And that's especially process model number 14. Process model number 14 is a moderated mediation where the B path of the model is moderated, but where there is no moderation for the direct effect C prime. This model can lead to seriously biased results and completely false conclusions. In this video I will show you why that is the case with some examples and what to do instead and which other process model templates have the same problem. Many process templates come in pairs. And in the case of a moderated B-path, it's the same. You have process model 14 with a moderated B-path, and you have process model 15 where the B-path and the C-prime path are moderated. Both model templates are quite popular. For both model templates, you find thousands of journal articles using this approach. And process model 14 is a little bit more popular. So you have more articles based on Google Scholar with process model 14 than with process model 15. So now let's look what could happen if you use process model 14. You want to test this. This is the theory. Your theory is you have a moderation of the B path only. But this could be the true model. The reality could be that you have a moderation of the B path and the C prime path. Or even this. Maybe you only have a moderation of the C prime path. Even if your theory says that the moderation is for the B path. Because before you get your data, you can't really be sure where the moderation is. You may have a theory, but the theory could be wrong. So even if you think that process model 14 with a moderated B path only is the correct model, you have to at least entertain the possibility that that's not true. Because otherwise, there is no reason for running statistical tests. If you know in advance beyond any doubt what the correct model is, you don't need to do statistics. It only makes sense to run statistical tests if you're not completely sure. So you have to use a method that's able to give you correct results even if your theory is not true. So now we'll be looking at three simulated data set. One data set where in the population the true relationship is process model 14 so that only the B path is moderated. A second simulated data set where in the population the B path and the C prime path are moderated. And a third simulated data set where you have a moderation, but a moderation of the C prime path and not a moderation of the B path. All three situations are possible and you can know it in advance which of those three cases is true. So we start with a case where the model 14 is the correct model, where only the B path is moderated. So the simulated data set is produced by something like this. Using process model 14 with my simulated data set, I get this for the interaction of the B path a significant moderation for the B path and a significant index of moderated mediation because the confidence interval for the index of moderated mediation does not include the zero. Now let's compare this with the results from using process model 15 for the same data. That is for the data where process model 14 is the correct model. For the interaction I get basically the same result. So there it doesn't matter whether I use process model 14 or process model 15 if only the B path is moderated. And for the index of moderated mediation, again, more or less the same result. In this case, where the true relationship corresponds to model 14, it doesn't matter whether I use process model 14 or process model 15. In both cases, I get the same results. Now to the second case. Here, the true relationship is that our moderator moderates the B path and the C prime path. And now let's see what happens if we use process model 14 in a situation like this. That is, this is the true relationship. And for this simulated data set, those were the results for the interaction of the B path. One important point, this is a second simulated data set, so you can't compare those results with the results from the first simulation. And here the index of moderated mediation, after using process model 14 for a situation where the true model would have been process model 15. And now we compare this with process model 15, that is the correct model in this case. Here I get a much smaller interaction for the B path 
that it's still significant but with a much higher p-value. So in this case, using process model 14 has biased our estimate for the interaction of the b-path. And index of moderated mediation, again, the true value using process model 15 is much lower. So the index of moderated mediation is biased too by using process model 14 instead of the true model 15. And now to the real big problem. Now we'll be looking at a situation where the true model is a model where only the C prime path is moderated. So you are thinking the B path is moderated, but the reality is that the B path is unmoderated, but the direct effect is moderated. Let's see what happens now. So this is our true model in this case. For this third simulated data set, I got a significant interaction for the B path, even though in truth there is no moderation for the B path here. And I've got a significant index of moderated mediation here with process model 14, even though in reality there was no moderated mediation here. There was an unmoderated mediation with a moderated direct effect. Let's compare it to model 15. Here are the results from model number 15 for the same data, correctly showing that there is no interaction for the B path at all. And index of moderated mediation again, correctly showing here there is no moderated mediation in this example. So with those examples you can see that process model 14 can give you completely biased and misleading results, whereas process model 15 doesn't have this problem. Why is that the case? Process model 14 we only allow a moderation of the B path, but if in reality the C prime path is moderated, maybe moderated alone or moderated alongside the B path, the problem is in this model we don't have a chance to estimate the moderation of the C prime path. But the moderation is there in the data, so it has to go somewhere. And the only place where this moderation of the C prime path can show itself is here. So the moderation of the C prime path is more or less pushed into the estimate for the moderation of the B path. And that can lead to seriously biased results. Conclusion, model 14 is useless, because if it's significant, you don't know anything, not really. You know there is some moderation in the model, but for that you could use process model 1, but you don't know whether you have a moderation for the B path or the C prime path or both. Process model 14 can tell you that. Process model 15 can. So please stop using process model 14. And as a more general rule, if you have a model in process with a moderation of the B path, then always include a moderation for the C prime path as well. Some other problematic models, model 16. Two moderators moderating the B path could lead to the same bias. So instead use process model 17, where the two moderators moderate the C prime path as well. Problematic is model 18, a moderated moderation of the B path. Instead use process model 19. Some other problematic numbers, 21, better is 28, 22 is problematic, better use 29, 58 is problematic, better use 59. And there are some models in the 60 plus range that are quite rarely used. I hope this has been helpful for you. You can find a link to a written version of this tutorial in the description. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.